managed to, to buy this little toy here. This is an AMR500 supercharger off a little Japanese car. It's by no means um, a really big deal, but it's compact enough that I can fit it into the uh, engine bay of this car. The plan is to try and make some brackets to mount it around about there. As you can see, there's room to bring it up a little bit higher a little bit closer to the block. I've just got it sort of resting there. And then I should be able to um, bend the tube and run the, the downdraft carburetor so it sits there. Should work fine. And it'll just require some piping that comes up, over, and down into the box. Back towards here where the carburetor is mounted now, uh, into a flange that'll bolt onto the manifold. And here's the steel I bought to make up the brackets. Nice, fresh, clean, lovely steel. I just made up uh, some little aluminium plates to cover the inlet and outlet on the uh, supercharger so that uh, I won't get any crap into it while I'm making the brackets and so forth. Well, this is progress. I have made a little triangular bracket, which is right down in there that bolts one of the bottom lugs of the supercharger to the engine block on near where the timing timing chain goes. I think I've pretty well got the pulleys in alignment and make a little torque arm here which should take up the uh, torque. I'm going to make another little triangular plate to pick up the other lug on the bottom of the supercharger at the front there and then it's just a matter of making the appropriate ducting. And to do that, I have got this. It's a little steel donut that should give me the um, some nice little tubing bends, 50 millimeter diameter, the same size as the hole in the flange plates. Well, um, I've got the brackets pretty well made. I just have to space the um, the supercharger back about another half an inch to get the fan alignment right. So I'm going to make some spaces out of aluminium. That's my first task for today. It's day two of mounting the supercharger. I've also turned the thermostat housing around the other way because um, uh, having the hose go go the other way just got in the way too much. It's also more convenient for, for filling it up. It just sort of tucks in there. Might make something in there just to lift it up a little bit, but unfortunately I'm short two hose clamps, so I won't be going anywhere um, uh, until I get those, because I had to run the hose uh, sort of round the the engine bay like that. There we have um, the front mounting plate that I've made um, and the big bolt that you can see up there in the middle uh, is the is for a Subaru cam belt tensioner which I'm using as a tensioner on the back of the run for the fan belt. I need to do that otherwise it's going to hit the um, it's going to hit the timing mark um, duvalaki on the front of the motor. Well, um, I've got the brackets pretty well made. I just have to space the um, the supercharger back about another half an inch to get the fan alignment right. So I'm going to make some spaces out of aluminium. That's my first task for today. It's day two of mounting the supercharger. Time for an update on what I've managed to do today. As you can see there, I've managed to make most of the inlet manifold for the uh, to mount the Weber on that side of the supercharger. I've welded the two little pieces of pipe together for the uh, outlet of from the supercharger. I need some 50 millimeter diameter pipe to finish making um, the ducting 
and over here I made the flange plate made the flange plate here for the um, for the connection to the uh, the inlet manifold which also needs some 50 millimeter pipe and then I can weld that all together and I need to get some nuts some M8 nuts so that I can pull out those inlet uh, manifold studs to mount the studs in that manifold base plate. Oh, and if, in case you're wondering, the bar is to check that I have enough space above the manifold there to to fit the carburetor on there, and that's I have just under seven inches and. The carburetor is just six inches high, including uh, air filter. So that's pretty well it. Brackets are sorted, but uh, I've got to um, get some longer bolts for mounting them. It's getting there. It's getting there.